Uh, so we need to head back to the west where Galif had saved us from. There is the bridge. Let's head for it. Are we going to see any more new enemies? We're on a different planet. There should be. We got water bosses. I don't know what these guys are. They are stingrays. They're giving me heartburn, whatever they are. They're not good to, to, well, to the tongue, I guess. They give you heartburn. And very interesting background we got here. It's like ruined. It's like something like that. All right. Oh, jeez. Fight Ferris. Yeah, smack Ferris. Ferris needs a little bit of help here because we got some sort of drain ability on. Well, not drain, but some sort of poison aspect. Yeah, I was about to say, shouldn't that be enough to finish it anyway? You finish off the other water boss. Down it goes. And for that fight, we get... Really? We get a devil's amount of gill. 247 experience and 1 ability points. Bart's gains a level. Galif gains a level. Ferris gains a level. Reyna sucks. So, we are just going to move on then. Back to the bridge but oh, I was about to say I need to stop and save and probably heal but we'll have to take these guys on first and I'll definitely have to heal just kill the water bus and then these okay he is a tree he is a freaking tree he needs to die to fire I don't care what color he is well, he was definitely a little weak to it. You need to, to smack Ferris again, because why not? Ferris always deserves a good smack. Okay, this thing needs to die. Die, Trent. It was pretty weak to, to fire. That guy, however, got healed. Luckily, I hadn't done any uh, damage to him already. So I'm just going to go for regular attacking and not waste any MP on him that doesn't need to be used. And I believe I need to... Half level! You bastard! He halved my level! <laughs> well, it didn't seem to help you that much, did it? Yes! You get 675 gil, 247 experience, and 1 ability point. Very similar to the last fight that we had. Uh, I don't necessarily need to heal, but... Mm, better safe than sorry. All healed and saved and ready to step on the bridge! Here is a big bridge. We need to head across it because that is where Gallus' forces are. We saw that in the little cutscene. But first, we have to take on monsters apparently. From here on, it's monsters all the way. Watch yourselves. Which is why you heal outside. Just to be cautious. Just to be cautious. We are up for a gauntlet here. We're up against little chariots. Oh, come on. You guys need to die faster than that. I should take on, yeah, that should take out that guy. Apparently, I'm a little over leveled for this. Good lord, I'm not doing, I'm not doing bad for myself. I, I can say that. Oh, he was that a little late. The defense? No, it looks like it. Actually, it did look like it was late. All right, that should finish off one of the chariots, and that should finish off the other. Easy peasy. There you go. Yes, you get 600 gil, 225 experience, and 1 ability point. Reyna has finally caught up to everybody else, even though you're still lazy, Reyna. Catch up. Come on, it can't be that hard. Let's just continue on. If it's just going to be the same guys, I'll probably cut it out. Are these guys little cherries too? Because they don't look like that normally with their sprite. Oh, we do have... Oh my god. They're back! They're back! Oh, why are they back? The fucking wing killers, apparently. They're upgrades. They're oh, the fucking Gila cats. There we go. I was trying to think of it. Holy crap! The fucking Gila cats. Except now they're red cats because we're on another planet. Why are people on multiple planets putting freaking bat wings on house cats? Why is this happening? Die, Gila cat. You can no longer exist. That is no longer allowed. That is not how this works. 
down that goes. I don't think Ferris is going to have enough to finish it off. Probably not. No, I don't think so. But you need to smack yourself. You get you get back up to full health as I continue to stare at the freaking sprite on my screen. What the hell is that? That needs to die. Whatever it is. 800 gil, 300 experience, and 1 ability point. Freaking house cat with bat wings. Why? Why would it exist? Why would somebody think of that? Take, yes, give me the antidote. Take it, we're moving on. Oh, super, that was only one fight. There's actually two here. Is it? Freaking Gila Cats! I have done the world a great service by killing those things. I want, you, I want that noted on my record. He killed Gila Cats. What the hell is that? That's like animal... Ugh. I want it noted that I have put those cats out of their misery. Let's just get out of here. Damn it, Gilgamesh is in the way. I've been waiting here for you. I was starting to think you might not show up. Now prepare to die. And it is boss time. We're up against Gilgamesh again. This time, though, he has no problem going all out on us. And we have casted aging on him, apparently. That is not what I wanted you to do. We need to go all out as soon as we can with Gilgamesh, to be honest with you. This guy is not easy. We need to use our spiffy new summon. Go Titan Earth Fury. <laughs> God. So, oh, triple seven damage. Very nice. And he's just continuing to hit Gallop. Now, he does have a couple of blue magic abilities if you have not learned them already. I'm hoping that he casts one in particular. Uh, he does have Goblin Punch. I believe it's just Gob Punch in this game, which makes it sound like you're punching somebody in the mouth. But why, why am I using Q or 2? That was not very smart of me. But we can continue to take him on. We need, like I said, we need to do as much damage to him as we can. Hopefully that old, that aging does kick in for him. Damn it. No missing allowed. Uh, I don't think uh, he's particularly weak to any element, so I'm just going for fire because it's the first on the list. And we win slash. That is not the ability that I wanted you to use. I'm, lo I'm looking for Goblin Punch. He also has Arrow 2. If you have not learned that, but we have seen a lot of enemies with that already. So you probably have, if you've been keeping learning on permanently like I have, it is always beneficial. Yes, critical strike. Always appreciated when you can get one of those off. I need to go for another Titan here, I believe. Uh-oh. Yo, combined power! He has hasted himself. Too great! And he has protected himself possibly win and he's cast shell on him not <laughs> and he jumped now this is a complete douche move that he does are you kidding me are you kidding me are you being super serious right now do you see how fast that was how he went through everybody that is ridiculous he got two jump attacks in that is absolutely ridiculous Ha, you missed. Still haven't used Goblin Punch, though, which is really what I wanted to see from you today. But it doesn't look like he's going to be doing that. He's too busy jump spamming. And that is a very smart strategy on his part, I must say. Just keep striking him. Uh, I could try to use a sword ability, but to be honest, it doesn't do that much. I think overall... Oh, yeah, go ahead and use that. Uh, I think overall it does more damage to not waste the turn casting the sword magic in this particular fight, so I'm just going to continue fighting with Bart. Now, Gilgamesh. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that much about Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is the hero of what is uh, widely considered the oldest story uh, written down. Uh, at least the, I think it's like the oldest one that they have found. Something similar to that. Maybe it's just sec secular uh, stories that were written down. Um, and he is the hero. It's called the Epic of Gilgamesh. It's an okay story. I mean, what do you what do you really expect from the first story ever written? Uh, but to be honest, my favorite part of it is that there's this monster uh, terrorizing a town. So that in order to calm the monster down, they're like, go send the whore. <laughs> That will calm the monster down, and I'm like, that is a smart-ass strategy. But what do I know? 
I mean, that's hilarious to me. Just like, go send the whore. She'll sleep with anything. <laughs> go sleep with the monster. Damn, stop hitting people. Yes, critical. I need criticals. I need to do as much damage as I can. Damn it, Gilgamesh. He needs to eventually go away. It doesn't look like I'm going to be learning Goblin Punch today, unfortunately, because once he gets to the point where he starts casting all those spells on himself, all those buffs, he usually does not uh, continue spamming the, the blue magics, unfortunately. Damn it, Reyna. Why don't you hit things? Nope. Damn it. Just keep going for the fire too, and I'll continue trying to heal everybody all at once. And it doesn't really work out for anybody. As long as I can keep everybody's HP over 400, though, it should be pretty good. We shouldn't have too much difficulty with him. That seems to be what he can do with the, uh, with the jump, which is his strongest attack right now. Damn it! No missing! No missing! Use fire! Just kill it with fire! Urgh. I've got to be somewhere, yes! I'll be back, count on it! And he runs away yet again. Yeah, we're not done with him. Yes, and you get nothing for that fight. But, I do need to actually heal, because we are not done, as you can hear from the music, we're not done going across this bridge. So I do need to heal, probably using a cottage. Still didn't learn Goblin Punch, though, unfortunately for me, and as I'm sure you've already figured out, I can't use a cottage here. So I just healed using what items I did have. Just a couple ethers, though. I don't want to spend too many of those. Let's just try to get out of here, but unfortunately we have more fights. What are we up against this time? Is it gonna be the freaking... No, it is new enemies! We got Neo Gorula and Fishites. These guys shouldn't be that big of a problem. Now, Gorula... Is Gorula weak to Bolt? Did we even have magic when we fought Gorula? It's been so long! He is not weak to Bolt. He heals with Bolt. Don't use Bolt. Uh, smack yourself. That'll work. I forgot, it's been so long since I've seen Garula now. So, I have forgotten, but it doesn't matter. I didn't do that much damage to, well, I didn't do any damage to him before that. Um, you do ice. Holy crap, he can charge pretty damn hard. Damn you, woolly mammoth Garula. But down he goes, down he goes. 900 gil, 225 experience, and one ability point. Nobody gained anything because even though we had a boss fight, we didn't get any experience or ability points like we had a boss fight. Let's just keep on going. We need to head up here, and we're going to fight Krill. Grandpa, Krill. Grandpa, the barrier. And the barrier is up. It looks like the castle's exploding. Uh, and we're whisked off. Did, so, did we cross the bridge? Creel? Grandpa! Now, I have looked up how to pronounce her name. I've tried. And her name is actually, uh, in, in Japanese, most... Accurately translated as K U R U R U. Kururu. So I'm gonna call her Krill because that's the closest as as I can gather. I mean, it's similar to Krillin from Dragon Ball Z, so th that's why I'm going with Krill. And we have landed on top of a very familiar looking cliff, to be honest with you. Where in Hades? I don't, I don't know if Hades applies to another planet. Who boy! Garoshiana, the wilderness of all wildernesses! What a place to get thrown into. So, Galif, I'm sorry if it weren't for us. Yeah, we probably ruined everything, didn't we, Galif? But I'm glad to see you. Kind of ditto, I guess, Galif. He did save us, so I guess we do like you, but that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of 
Let's play Final Fantasy V. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my suddenly astronaut party of Ga Bart, Reyna, Gallif, and Ferris. When we come back, we'll find out where the hell we need to go. Because right now, we're just kind of stranded here. It's probably going to be to the east. Will we make it there? Find out next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.